Hey everybody, last part, one last thing I wanted to go over, which was uh, uh, I very purposely ignored throughout the rest of the tutorial course, uh, is her staff. Um, I was hoping that uh, when people watched the the short little, uh, you know, the finished cut, that people would just think it was a prop, nobody would even realize that it was uh, a CG staff, and then... Uh, through the course of the tutorial, somebody would dawn on you that, hey, that's that that she's just carrying a stick, a white stick with some red markers on it. So um, that's the last part of the tutorial. But I didn't want to show you actually what to do here. I think in the rest of the tutorial, I've shown you enough that you should be able to do this yourself without uh, like a step by step guidance from me. So. Uh, I thought I would walk you through one of my projects. This is shot three, uh, which I believe was the hardest of the bunch. Not that it was even that hard. It was just a lot of little tweaks and things. Um, so I thought I'd at least walk you through the project, what I was doing, um, if Natron's going to cooperate. Uh, and uh, and you can you can figure it out from there and kind of do your own thing with the staff or you could be even better make your own weapon um, I, I will provide uh, I have all the elements here and I will provide those um, they're just a staff render um, with an alpha channel you can see this it's all transparent through the whole thing and I will provide all four of those for every shot uh, but yeah I'd love to see how people can do integrating them uh, you know on your own so let me walk through what I was doing here, right? So we've got the, the footage, and there's the stick I used. Uh, and I just kind of hand match moved these in Blender. I didn't track anything really. I just kind of did it by eye. I've got a little technique that uh, would make another tutorial, another great tutorial somewhere uh, in the future. Um, so I've got the footage, and then the staff goes over right there. But you'll see it's being held out by his nose, uh, which is right here. I've got a nose and a forehead roto because they both kind of cross over it. And I've got her shoulder roto um, because the staff itself does go further than that. So, um, I wonder, will it, uh, I, yeah, so there you can see the staff uh, by itself uh, with those things cut out and being uh, with the alpha channel is, is uh, intact there. Uh, if I turn off that footage, turn it back on. So one of the issues I had, uh, I was happy with this, but when you watch it in motion, uh, you could see that it's kind of cutting into his nose a little bit. So I couldn't, um, I couldn't, you see right here, this dilate uh, off this roto is kind of choking it in because there's a little white line. So it was a little tricky to find that perfect spot between, uh, between where the white line was there and it wasn't cut in and uh, so I, I kind of cut in a little too far um, and then uh, I put a skin color this is just a solid color I put that kind of back over top using the same mat but just expanded out a tiny bit more and blur softened a little bit more so what I'm doing is I'm cutting it out a little too much putting a solid color back over which um, I probably didn't have to actually cut out his nose to put that solid color over the solid color would just go over it uh, and then I'm putting down here I'm putting his nose uh, I believe I am anyway putting his nose back over yet again uh, so that all you're kind of left with the color the solid color is basically fixing that that edge and then his nose is just going back over it and uh, and filling in the, the correct color and textures and stuff that's in there. Uh, I've also got some stuff going on down here uh, where the where it meets her shoulder. You can see there's like my camera, the horrible compression, I'm sure something uh, creates this like red kind of glow around her. And uh, with the... Uh, with the red line uh, on this stick being right on her shoulder as well, it was making it, uh, I just felt it was just too visible. And there may be some other frames, I think, maybe where it's a bit more visible. Um, so what I'm doing here 
is I'm using uh, this. Uh, let me turn off this. If I turn that off, this is a color suppress. Uh, well, it's not a. Uh, I think it's just a great. No, no, it is a color suppress. Yeah. Let's see. Color. Is there a color suppress node? Yeah, there it is. So that's what I'm using there. Uh, just to to su obviously suppress a color. Um, and I've just I've created this little mat, this little roto that goes just where where the stick crosses her shoulder. You can see it's off a little bit on that frame right there, uh, or maybe I went a little further on purpose. Um, and then I'm just kind of <clears throat> I'm uh, desaturating only the red right there. So um, you come down to here. If I turn this back on. Uh, it's just oh that's why I went down that far because that's where how far the, the staff goes the CG one so I'm just cutting the red out uh, between that's all this is doing you can see it's there's red in there now and then when I enable it the red goes away and then I was feeling like it was a little too soft so I was or I'm sorry a little too sharp so I was adding a tiny bit just a little blur of three uh, I had created an edge mat uh, which I can show you right here there's the edge and then I'm dilating it, grading it a bit and uh, and then holding it in there, blurring that a little bit. So now I've got this perfect little mat that's a that's a blender between uh, the staff and her shoulder. And I'm using that to just kind of to blur just that little transition between the two. And uh, and that's really it. That's all I was doing there. So. Uh, putting the staff over itself is generally easy and doing the roto to cut things out, but it's all those little corrections um, You know when you do when you do the roto and you see there's still like a little white line showing up or a little red line It's those little corrections that that ended up being uh, a bigger deal than I thought it was going to be uh, And that took some time to fix and then of course I throw on all our uh, all our style nodes that we were doing in the other shots um, all the same exact same exact nodes crop uh, and then the letterbox and uh, and then I was rendering so I did that for uh, for the other shot as well shot one um, and uh, I just wanted to walk you through that so that I, I at least give you an explanation of it although I'm not gonna actually uh, hold your hand and show you every single step of that way of, of creating that so uh, hopefully I've shown you enough here if not uh, Leave me a comment or something below, and uh, thanks for watching.